A Melbourne mathematician and two fellow cryptologists have been officially recognised by the FBI for solving a 50-year-old cryptic message written by the Zodiac serial killer. At least five people were killed by the Zodiac killer in the 1960s, but the killer's identity is not known. Dr Samuel Blake is that mathematician. He joins us now from Melbourne. Dr Blake, welcome to ABC News. This is an extraordinary discovery. Congratulations. How does it feel to be involved in unravelling this code and what does it say? Yeah, thank you for having me, Art. So, uh, it, was, it was such a long shot. We, we tried several hundred thousand incorrect ways of solving the cipher and just by chance we happened to sort of stumble upon a fragment of, of how it could be solved and using that fragment we reverse engineered the, the entire solution and uh, got the, the entire message out from the Zodiac. So what was that all important message that took so much work to find? So, I mean, I'm not I'm not an expert on on what the zodiac had to say. I, I managed to help to to get that message out. Um, it doesn't reveal his identity. It doesn't give a lot of clues to his identity. I think more what it does is the the method that he was able to use to create that uh, that cipher um, may help uh, track down who he is. And when you say we, obviously you weren't alone in this process. You worked with at least two other people uh, at this point of, because it's more than 50 years uh, since that message was first published. So just tell, take us through how you worked together um, and who was involved with, with doing this. Yeah, so David Aranchak is from the United States and he has been working on trying to solve this cipher in his spare time for 15 years. Uh, which is a Herculean effort. Uh, I, I saw some of the videos that he'd put online promoting analysis that he'd done of this cipher, and I thought they were excellent. And so I, I reached out to him in, I think, about March of this year, and it was sort of a way of getting through the, the Melbourne COVID lockdown uh, was to, to play around with this in my spare time. Amazing. And was there any special technology that uh, helped to finally, I mean, you talked about reverse engineering um, when you finally found a couple of uh, pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, so uh, what you can see on the screen now is a, is a program called AZ Decrypt, which is written by a guy from Belgium called Jarl van Eyckie. And that was a central piece of technology that we used. Uh, and then I used the Spartan supercomputer at Melbourne University um, to run some of our candidate uh, reading directions through the cipher in order to work out which was the right direction to look through the cipher. And so it was a, it was a large problem of trial and error. And um, with this, I mean, what was it that made the code so difficult to break? It was a combination of two things. So uh, it was a homophonic substitution cipher. So uh, letters in the, uh, the text that the Zodiac was encrypting is replaced with multiple symbols. But then the, the reading direction that we're normally used to is, you know, left to right, top to bottom on a, on a page. Uh, whereas what the Zodiac did in this, in this cipher was to, to write it out down the diagonals of the, of the page. So he went uh, one, one row down, two columns across, one row down, two columns across in order to write it out. And trying to stumble across that correct enumeration was, uh, was one of the main difficulties here. And as you point out, um, this is just a step towards hopefully solving the case. It's still an active case. So, so how do you feel about being involved in um, something like this? And uh, are you working on any further clues which might help people finally solve the identity? Yeah, I think the chances that we were going to be in, uh, at all involved in this were so small because the chances of solving this after 50 years was next to next to zero. And so. Being able to play a role in this is fantastic. Um, you know, I hope this decryption may lead to, uh, you know, better narrowing down who this person is. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. In regards to the other two ciphers that he sent, we're, we're looking at those to see if there's ways in which we can we can uh, use the work that we've done on the 340 cipher to, to solve those. Um, but none of that is clear at this stage. Well, you've already made a huge inroad. It's an extraordinary effort, as I said earlier. Thank you, Dr Sam Blake there in Melbourne, so much for your time. Thank you. So